she's ready to go to a fashion show. The beauty in this room. Wow. Okay, style is a big dip. <laughs> it's sponsored. That's why she's looking like this. That's why the style is such an incredible feature of it. Okay, she's gonna sound. It's so delicate, the moves, the vocals, everything's delicate except for her face, man. Her face, fire. Hey. Oh, that melody. And then in this outfit, oh, I wasn't gonna go back, but that shot, that shot was absolutely everything. Just here. Oh, I need a poster of that. Oh, no. This is my favorite Jisoo. Jisoo looking down at me. They keep giving it to me. <laughs> I got I got actually emotional right at the end because it's like just this feeling of like it's happened it's actually happened I think it's such a good representation of her as a whole because we're getting her obviously she's debuting we're getting her as a singer and there are, there are she's not like going crazy with the vocals she's very softly delicately showing her tone her raspy tone um she's just dancing on the beat and then she does flutters and she elongates things that makes it more interesting or even like at the beginning um it was very short sharp sounds like she's doing different things that are delicate and you need to kind of like lean in here more um to like fully get the the breadth of how nice it sounds but we're getting her yeah as a singer we're getting her as an actress i like that she's not she singing the words to us necessarily she's playing out a scene, a story that we're just ha having to watch and it's even got the chapters and she's taking us through that journey through her act, like her as an actress, we're getting her as a, an ambassador obviously of Dior <laughs> and the sounds, the looks that we're getting, not only the like visual like what she's wearing, the um, makeup, the hair styling, this collectively is some of the best Jisoo has ever looked. And it's shocking to me how in so many different scenes, she's looking different, yes, yet still amazing. And how these fits, are, oh my, 
she it looks incredible but then the styling of the scene as well like when she's indoor the decor outside it looks like maybe italy i like that she didn't um overdo the choreo as well because that would have been a bit more like a k-pop staple you know and i don't think she needs to do that i think she is showing who she is in her truest form without having to like you know bust all those moves we're getting different features of her but we're also getting jisoo as a member that's what i'm feeling like anyway i feel like it is connected coming into this when i heard me i was thinking oh okay i'd like it's gonna be on the ground lalisa style where she's gonna be talking about her like her as a person the things that maybe she's gone through who she is and like the flower is going to be her blooming into the life that she has now um but it's my it's a breakup song so it's actually so much more similar to solo which has just blown my mind because it's literally like they have closed the loop they're doing it full circle ah oh, whenever you like expect something they give you something different and you're like Oh, that's so much smarter than whatever I had planned. Um, but there's elements in this where she's in the car like Jenny was. Like, even the song, to be honest, um, like, the spaced out beats of it, the um, the tempo, it, it it's similar to solo. But then the actual scenes that we're getting, um, some of the opulence like where Jenny was, where Jisoo is, them reading uh, the mirror scene, although uh, Rosé had that as well. There's a lot of things in here that are very, very similar to Jenny and that's just really giving me, it's not just Jisoo's solo, it's actually Jisoo of Blackpink's solo and there's an intentionality about this. Should we go into the lyrics as well? Break up, it's not the raw emotions like gone in terms of that kind of breakup, it's like, Jisoo's almost saying, I was so great to you. I was wonderful. I was this beautiful flower and you let me go. So I think there's moments where she talks about um, flying away like a blue butterfly. And blue is kind of like that um, sad. You let that go. You let me pass you by. Solo is very much like that as well. Like I, we're over, but I'm doing so great <laughs> without you. Um, but it does, there are savage moments in this as well, but not nearly as much um, as that. The scent of a flower, so I've taken that away. I, I think she is the flower, it's not the relationship, she is actually the flower, which is interesting because flowers kind of represent beauty, uh, like growth as well, um, and they're very fragile. And that's what I'm getting from this, that actually that is her like we're getting the absolute beauty in this we're also getting the growth because there's some sort of journey in terms of like what happened the night before and her like we're seeing stages of her moving on and being okay and then like you know the scent of the flower that is i'm gone and all you can do is just like smell my scent around your house <laughs> that's all you have because you let me go i was gonna swear but you can't um, and then this like section here is obviously the like m big moment of the reveal like this she says the scent of flower and then like you know bursts out with this red black that's like fire passion um, and she says it crimson heart um, oh my god the imagery is too much it's too much to even get into um but the fact that it's a heart and then the heart is being unveiled out because her heart is now opening out into the world into more possibilities she got over this really quickly <laughs> breakup did not do anything to GC. I know there's sad moments but she's like it's one of those things where like you're sad and then you're like are you really the reason I'm crying are you the reason I'm crying absolutely not absolutely not I know who I am and then she like gets over it that part it, it does feel like the f uh, flower that is like um going out into the wind so like oh yeah it's at this part so she says white petal flying away so you know like uh, and I think she said gentle wind maybe it was after or something like that at some point she says like a gentle wing a wind so it's like it's not even that something big happened to make us break up it's like you are really fickle and you just let me go like a gentle wind that just blew away and i love the representation of that should we do favorite moments let me see oh the, the voice this vocally is a special moment it's special she's a statue 
Oh, you guys don't understand the visual impact of this. How happy this makes me here. I really love this representation of the imagery here as well, because it's like she's wearing green, um, which is like a stalk. She's already talked about uh, the flu blue butterfly, but I think it's kind of like representing uh, the flower here. Obviously, we've got the flowers behind. And so she's a physical representation of the flower. This is what, what makes me think that she is the flower. It's not like the relationship or anything else. She is it. And then the um, building is yellow to represent the sun shining on her and she's like looking at that oh. oh my gosh i need to get my mom to watch this she's become a blink through g2 she's gonna die oh the nod i love this i love the mixing of like high fashion couture with um like her as an artist love oh my gosh i'm sure there's gonna be lots of other things in here that uh are gonna strike me later on can you please let me know in the comments your thoughts so you may have seen on my community post that the sound cut from this reaction. So I'm going to do a little bit of a voiceover. It will be cringe at parts, but just so you know, however cringy it sounds to you, it's like 10 times worse for me to do it. Uh, but I'm not filming it again. We're just going to go with it and talk about our thoughts. Sexy GC. I love how here she's saying like, you better look at me. You need to see me fully, take me all in. I like the melody. I like the way that it's like just flowing. Guys, this part actually got me so happy. The way that I'm there waiting for the drop to happen, she's building up to it and then does her little flutter before we get there. Like that pre-drop was so nice, I loved it. Ooh, damn. But the way that she's just fully gone into sexy mode, I love. Waste my time! Don't waste my time! Look at me, look at how I'm looking. Do not even try it. I love it. She's so expensive. She knows her visual appeal. And she's like, no. I'm really enjoying the production here. The amount of elements that are just flowing together and sound so lovely. This is nice, I'm enjoying this. So I'm enjoying this. And then it's like the standard YG leaving you, cutting it, making you want so much more. And so like overall, in terms of my thoughts, I think first and foremost, it has nothing to do with the first song, which is kind of a standard now with all of their solos. It's an album, but there's no continuation. It's almost like she's presenting two different sides to her. So in Flower, we have much more of the delicate, soft, sad side. And then here we're getting 
Jisoo being sexy, sultry, bold, confident, owning her appeal and her role in the relationship. Originally, when I looked at the title, I thought it would be about her as an idol, a statement of her career where she is now. But it's actually about the relationship and she's literally just saying, I don't want a piece of you. I want all of you. I love some of the lyrics where, you know, that verified section where she's saying this is official. I want an official public relationship and she probably wants a title. You know, sometimes people will be in a situation ship, uh, but they actually want that title of like girlfriend so that they know this is where we're at. Like we are in a relationship and it's public. Everyone knows. And I also like the bungee uh, lyric as well. It's kind of like two parts. You've got them, it's representing f like physically falling in love, but also that she wants them to take a risk on her and on this relationship. There's so much more that I said, but I'm not going to do the voiceover for all of that. So uh, just let me know what you think in the comments about this song, about the other song every song and her voice visuals everything i'm gonna hang out in the comments and let's just chat